YouTube. Hope you don't mind the music in the background. That's what I usually do while I'm sharpening. Today, we're doing a sharpening video on this knife right here, this Tangram Orion. One of my favorite budget knives. You can catch them on sale for like 20, 25 bucks, I think. <clears throat> 440C Akuto. Japan, Japanese steel. Let's see where it's at. Yeah, it says it right there. Yep, all right. So, first thing you wanna do is make sure you get your blade in the jaws right. My jaws will come open. I'm gonna try to line up the flat edge right here of your KME with the straightest part of your edge and still get the knife at least close to halfway center. All right, now right, you've got that done. You paint your bevel with the Sharpie. And I've sharpened this knife before. I think I set it somewhere around 21, 22 degrees. So that's where I'm gonna guess. So where I'm gonna start. I'm gonna start with my 140 grit. It's the coarsest stone that I have. It's pretty dull. You usually you don't have to go down to your 140 grit, but I'm gonna do it for the sake of the video, and it needs to be done anyway. All right, let me show y'all what I see. You see how it's taking that Sharpie off? There we go, it's better. But it's only taking it off on the edge, so your angle is too high. You need to drop it down. So I'm gonna put it on 20. Uh, 20's taking off the shoulder. A little bit higher. And there we go. Alright. So that's what you want right there. See how I took it off the entire face of that bevel? And also, uh, KME recommends that you oil your stones. I have a little bottle of oil that came with the lapping films that I use on my stones. Uh, some people use it dry. You know, uh, I have no reason not to trust the manufacturer, and they say use wet stones. So, guess what? I use wet stones. You can use oil or, or water. It works both about the same except water will evaporate quicker but what you want to do is grind this until you get your burr on both sides I'm gonna stop the video here and I'm gonna grind until I get a burr and then I'm gonna come back to y'all all right so now that I've got a burr I can fill it I've been grinding on this side right here using sweeping motions which are um, scrubbing motions like this Try not to shake the camera because it's uh, mounted to the table. This is on. But yeah, I've been scrubbing, scrubbing away, and I feel the burr on the other side. So, what you're going to do once you get a burr is you're going to flip your blade over and you're going to go up strokes only. And what that's going to do is it's going to bend that burr and grind it off. And you can hear the difference in the sound. of the stone now from when I first flipped it over and you're gonna do that on both sides 
you're going to try to get the burr on both sides and knock it off and you're going to try to do even stroke on it. It don't have to be even on each side, just relatively close. It don't really matter if you go from the heel to the tip, from the tip to the heel, it don't really matter to each his own. But that's what you're gonna do. And then once you've got that, you've got you know you've got that good apex and you're gonna to move to your next stone. So I'm gonna take out my 140 and get my 300 grit course. And you don't really have to go through all the progression of the different stones. That's only if you really want scratch refinement. I'm probably probably going to take it to this 300 grit stone, jump to the 1500, and then lap it with a 9 micron and call it even because it's... I mean, that's as good as you... That I'm probably... That I'll need, really, because it's scary sharp. I'll show you all in a little bit. But I'm going to do this. I'm going to get the scratch pattern refined for this stone... And then I'll be right back with you. All right. So I've got done with the 300 grit refinement. And uh, I just want to show y'all how sharp it is. Just off 300 grit. But you could actually just leave it with this if you wanted to. kind of hard to cut with it in the jaws but it's really really sharp but I'm going to show y'all the difference now that the lapping films make so I've got my films here Sorry if the camera is a little shaky. Alright, so I'm going to clean the 300 pieces off. Little pieces of diamond or whatever particulates that have come off the blade or the stone during refinement. So when I go to, when I put my lapping film on there, it doesn't, it's not contaminated with different grit size. This is what they look like, they're just glass slates with little abrasive strips that you put on. And I found that there's slight angle deviation between the lapping film and the diamond stone. You're going to have to bring your lapping film up, maybe like a, just a frog here. And that'll hit, make sure it hits the, the edge itself. And you want to go, with the lapping films, you want to go just strictly away. Away from the edge. Because you don't cut into your film and waste it. These things are expensive. All right, so I'm done, I'm back, and uh, this is it. Well, that was a bad cut. That's just off a uh, 300 grit and then down to, oh, I caught right there. Down to nine micron. Plenty, plenty sharp for shaving. It's 
scary short. Let's see if we can. It's just popping them off. Yep. But that's how I sharpen on my KME. This is a video I've been promising for a while and finally did it. So y'all enjoy or don't enjoy. Like or dislike. Do whatever, but y'all have a good one.